Welcome to MH2801 video, ex video segment on an example of calculating the derivative of f of z, function of a single complex variable. So in the previous video segment, we have discussed the definition of the of a derivative of the function of a function of a complex variable. In this video segment, we will use that definition to calculate the derivative of one specific uh, function. And let that be f of z equals to z squared. So this is a quadratic function of the complex variable z. So before we begin, let us start writing down the explicit dependence of f of z on the real part and the imaginary part. So if we write down z in Cartesian representation as x plus i1 and square this, we will then find that this is x squared plus 2iXy plus i squared y squared and using the fact that i squared is equal to minus 1, we can then write this as x squared minus y squared plus 2i xy. Now, in order to evaluate the derivative, we need to take the limit of this particular ratio, which is f of z minus f of z naught divided by z minus z naught. So there are a few things we need to decide. First, we need to decide on the approach we will take to z naught. Let's say we approach along the x-axis. Okay, in which case z naught will be equals to x naught plus i y naught. And z will be equals to, since we are approaching along the x-axis, only x itself changes, y is held fixed at y naught. And therefore, together, we know that z minus z naught is equal to x minus x naught. Now, what about the difference between the function values? So, let us write down, let us write down the function value at z naught. So, using the formula up here, we can write this as x square naught minus y square naught plus 2i x naught y naught. What about fz? Since uh, z varies only along the x-axis, uh, only x itself can vary. So this is x square. y is still y naught, so y naught square plus 2i x y naught. And therefore, the difference between the two of them the two function values fz minus fz naught is equal to x squared minus x naught squared. Okay, the y's are gonna cancel. So let me note that down. The y's are gonna cancel, uh, and then you're left with two i. Okay, plus two i y naught x minus x naught. We can simplify this a little further because this is a difference between two squares. We can write this as x minus x naught. And here it is x plus x naught plus 2i y naught x minus x naught. Now let's um, combine everything that we know about the difference between the function and the difference between the complex number z and z naught and uh, write down the ratio whose limit we seek to determine. So if we do that, then we will find that fz minus f of z naught divided by z minus z naught is equals to, here we have okay, x minus x naught, x plus x naught plus 2i y naught x minus x naught 
and then divided by x minus x naught. So you can see that all the x minus x naught factors are going to cancel with the x minus x naught factor in the denominator, and we end up only with x plus x naught, okay, plus two i y naught. So in the limit, in the limit of x going to x naught which is the same as z going to z naught, what we will end up having is that limit of as z approaches z naught, fz minus fz naught divided by z minus z naught. This will be equals to 2x naught plus 2i y naught, which is the same as 2x naught plus i y naught which we can write as 2z0. So this is the this is what we get if we make use of the definition of the derivative of f of c if we approach from the x along the x direction. Now what if we approach from along the y direction? So if we instead approach from the y direction, if approach is along the y direction okay then what we know is that z naught is equals to x naught plus i y naught okay z naught of course is just a point we cannot change that but z okay since we are approaching along the y direction x remains at x naught but y is free, okay? And then together, we therefore know that z minus z naught will be equals to x naught will cancel, the x naught will cancel, and then here we have i y minus i y naught, i y naught, and this is equals to i y minus y naught. Now what about the difference in function value? So let us write those down. So first of all, we have f of z naught. This is not changed from previously. So this is still x naught square minus y naught square plus 2i x naught y naught. But f of z, if we are approaching along the y direction, this will become x naught squared minus y squared plus 2i x naught y. Okay. So it's important to note that because we are approaching along the y direction, y is a variable, but x is not. Now we can write down the difference between the two functions, f of z minus f of z naught, and this will be equals to, okay, we can see that the x naught square is going to cancel, okay, and then what we are left behind is minus y square plus y naught squared, okay, and then plus 2i x naught y minus y naught. Again, this is a difference between two squares. We can write this as y naught minus y, y naught plus y, plus 2i x naught y minus y naught. Now let's pull the minus sign out so that we can write the difference between the y's uh, uniformly as y minus y naught. So this here we write as y plus y naught plus 2i x naught y minus y naught. Now we can evaluate the ratio. So let's write down the ratio fz minus fz naught divided by z minus z naught. And this will be equals to okay, minus y minus y naught, y plus y naught, plus 2i x naught, y minus y naught, divided by i y minus y naught. So the cancellations that we expect to happen here will be y minus y naught in the denominator. 
the numerator, <coughs> cancelling the y minus y naught in the denominator. And then we will be left with we will be left with uh, minus y plus y naught plus 2i <coughs> x naught divided by i. Okay, now this first division by i, okay, if we divide this by i, we will end up with 2x naught. Okay, and then we will have minus y plus y naught divided by i. Here, we need to make use of the fact that i square is equal to minus 1 and therefore okay, i is equal to one, minus 1 over i. Okay? Now if you make use of this, then what happens is that the ratio becomes okay, 2x naught plus i y plus y naught. And in the limit, in the limit of y z going to z naught, which is the same as y going to y naught, we will end up with 2x naught plus i 2y naught, which is of course twice z naught. So indeed, we find the same derivative, the same limit uh, for the derivative of f of z equals to z square, whether we approach the point z naught from along x or along y, and for that matter, along any other direction. Okay, and therefore we say that f of z is differentiable, and the derivative of f of z, which is z square, is just two z naught. So let us summarize over here with a red color. So the f prime of z naught is always equals to two z naught uh, if f of z is equals to z square and since z naught is not special we can uh, we can replace it with the, the 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 complex number z and then write as f of z equals to z square meaning means that the derivative of f is equals to 2z which is the same as when we have a function f of x equals to x square the derivative is equals to 2x. So when f of z is a differentiable function of z, its derivative takes on the follows the same rule of differentiation as the function of a single real variable.